Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Unlimited for the PC. Last time, absolutely nothing happened, and today, something will happen. Uh, let's see what other robot masters we got on the agenda. That stage I want to save for Rush Jet. As I know for a fact that that upgrade will be in this game most definitely. Hmm. Well, shoot, let's try Gulu, man. Why the hell not? Wow, Glue Man! That's what I at least picture him saying anyway. I don't know, I got a strange grenade man vibe out of that, but... I don't know, I'm just weird. <laughs> Whoa, what? That was weird. <laughs> For some reason, I forgot to address it, but Nitro Man's stage actually kind of reminded me of, uh... Solar Man for a second? Thought that'd be very interesting to note. I'm starting to think that a lot of the soundtrack uh, music from this game, or music tracks from this game, my bad, were Mega Man 9 and 10 inspired. I know Mega Field X is a big fan of 9 and 10, so maybe that's where the idea stemmed from. I'm pretty sure just this whole game in general kind of spawned from Mega Man 8, because when you think about it, this game has been in development for five years. So that would mean it started in 2008, and that's when Mega Man uh, 9 came out. You can do the math from there. <laughs> hmm. What am I doing? Ken, get your aiming capabilities right. Good sir. <laughs> Holy flood. Hmm. I kind of like the um, glue enemies right there. The way your buster sticks to them. I don't think I've ever seen anything reflect the Buster outside of a fan game aside from maybe, um... Anchor from Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge. Well, I, when I say reflect, I mean do something with, unique with the Buster. I don't know, I find that pretty... <laughs> and you can actually kill enemies with that too, holy flood. And I really needed that life energy. A curse of glue! Thou shalt die for making me li miss that life energy. But alas, no use crying over spilt milk or life energy. Let us tread onwards. Oh, great. Oh. Wow, that's cool. That was not cool. This is the beginning, isn't it? Well, shoot. Well, you know what this means. Jump cut. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry for yet another poor excuse of stupidity. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, see what more treacherous obstacles this stage has in store for us. Like that really smartly placed enemy. <laughs> Holy crap, that almost made my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> Ooh. Something tells me this game is going to be one of the most evil games I've played yet in the series. Yes, that includes Mega Man and Base, so... How am I supposed to make that jump? Whoa! Frick! <sighs> you know what? Screw it. This is another stage I'm coming back to with Brush Jet. <laughs> Yes, please. Uh, shoot, yo, 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 man. Well, I finally beat somebody for once. I don't know why, but I read that as YOLO, man, for a second. Ooh. Five seconds in, and I'm already liking the music piece for this. Holy flood. Well done. Oh. Okay, that is very cool. Um definitely going to give the creator credit for that. Oh god, that looks evil. <laughs> is there any more right- Oh, yes there is. Evil spiky spinning yo-yos. Why can't I react to it in time? Holy blood.
Alright then. How am I supposed to jump under him? Hmm. Wait. I should be using Rest Jet to get that. Let's actually think for once. No, that's not where I wanted you. Good sir. I want you right here! Ooh! Spinning, yo-yos, and precise platforming. Not a good combination. Ah, well. At least they're not... Ooh! But they do stay on you for long... Extended periods of time, but... I was about to say, they're not a very good combination, but... Yeah. I'm pretty sure you knew what I meant. I'm pretty sure all of you can read my mind just fine and dandy, except not really. Now I'm just talking out of my ass. <laughs> okay, I was just checking to see if there was another spinning blade there. Oh! But of course you spawned one there. Thanks. <laughs> so far, this seems to me the most manageable stage I've played as of yet, so... <laughs> up. Thank you. Onwards, Mega Man. I can simply just take care of these guys on the ladder. Yeah, I gotta admit, though, like, I'm good at Mega Man, but first time playing a certain game in the series, aside from, you know, easy ones like 5 and 6, for example, I tend to suck. <laughs> But then somehow, like, the playthrough immediately after, I started doing incredibly well. Like, I was surprised I could do that with Mega Man and Base. Like, I didn't get to play that game, finally, until recently. And, of course, as you can expect, I had a hard-ass time with it the first time I played it, because, go figure, it's, like, one of the hardest games in the series, if not the hardest game in the series. And then, the second playthrough immediately afterwards, I started kicking ass, and I'm like, how on earth did I manage to pull that off? I don't know. But that's just to be expected when I play most difficult Mega Man games in general, really. Though that didn't seem to be the case with Street Fighter X Mega Man, which I kind of thought that's would be the same for this game, for reasons unknown. Just me being stupid as usual. <laughs> oh, God. That was a yet another stupid move by yours truly, Ken Myself. He Thankfully, I did reach a checkpoint, though. So I'm not going to complain about that. Alrighty, move down. Thank you. Holy flood. Yeah. This is not one of those games I can easily go through and just play casually right off hand. That's already something I could go ahead and say just off of playing three or four of the stages in the game alone, so... Do I, I know I'm sucking a lot at that section, but kind of like the gimmick going on there. Gotta admit, though, I really like the Robot Master ideas, especially Yo-Yo Man. Definitely something I'd, I'd picture Capcom to use, but don't at the same time, you know? In a way, it feels like I'm playing Mega Man 11, even though I'm not. Music and everything. Assuming that Capcom ever makes a Mega Man 11, because... We all know how greatly Mega Man's 25th anniversary is going. <laughs> well, but then again, we got Mega Man for Smash Brothers, and I'm not going to complain about that, so... Maybe Capcom is finally heading in the right direction with Mega Man? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm trying... I'm trying to imagine how the deal actually worked out with that, come to think of it. Considering how Capcom has been stingy with not anybody using their licensed characters lately, so... And I've been trying to look up interviews and stuff for that, too, like how they managed to get Mega Man in, and I can't seem to find it anywhere, actually. 
Ugh. Really? Jump cut. As you can imagine, I obviously got a game over in this stage, so... Yeah. <sighs> well then. You know, I hate to say this, but let's try Nail Man. <laughs> I gotta admit, though, I really love that design. It actually looks kind of true to the uh, object he's personifying, really, but... Alright. Anywho. Just something tells me to expect lots and lots of spikes in this stage. That's why I was, like, thinking about this one for a second. I think this was the first stage I actually saw gameplay footage of, actually. Yeah, I think he d demonstrated, like, the first 30 seconds of it or something, and he was, like, trying to demonstrate, like, those enemies right there. And now come to think of it, you know, he was saying they're amazing and all, but... So far, the other enemy designs I've been seeing are... Really impressed with so far, and I, in a way, it almost makes me wish he showed those off instead. But either that, or that was the first enemy he designed. I don't know. Also, I should be shooting a jackhammer for whatever reason, and not the metal itself. Weird weakness, but okay. I'll roll with that. I'll rock and roll with that, son. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Ken, shouldn't you know how metals work? Uh. <sighs> Sometimes I just really want to kill myself. <laughs> Alrighty. Anywho. I can tell he really loves those towering metals, though, that's for sure. Okay, so the more you shoot him, the more he does that. Hmm, it's kind of cool. The jackhammer thing. Ken, what the hell was that? Jump cut! Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can imagine, by looking underneath my health bar, I actually did get yet another game over. But this time, I think... I mean, call me crazy, but... I kind of have a good feeling about this stage. I mean, nothing seems too dickish just yet, so that should be a sign. Oh shoot, we have platforms like freaking Gutsman stage again. <laughs> Never thought I'd see those again. <laughs> Ooh! Timing is key when it comes to these things, my friends. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Something tells me, though, as soon as you see stuff like that that isn't quote-unquote too bad, it's going to get much worse. <laughs> yep, I know it. <sighs> Thanks, game. I could have really used that life. Ooh. Gotta really pay attention to details here. What with the nails and stuff. Hmm. Alrighty. Jump! There we go. I could have just used as much coil for that. What am I thinking? <laughs> hmm. Oh, God. Barely missed that. There we go. I haven't really seen it many enemies outside of the metals and uh, the nail thingamajigs, whatever they are. <laughs> Something tells me, though, we're going to be getting an item that actually grabs items through walls. Kind of like the Hornet Chaser from Mega Man 9, so... I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for that. That and these Frog's Bullets. Do I actually have any E-Tanks? No, I do not. Shit. Oh. Well, speak of the devil. <laughs> I've got his lives. Okay. I actually don't want to step back and do that, but rather... Whoa, wait, no checkpoint! Are you freaking kidding me?! Jump cut. Fuck it, I am trying something else. Alrighty, um... Shoot, I'll try to take it, man, why not? 
I'll tank it through. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, shut up. Well then. It's a Mega Man game. That's supposed to be hard. That's to be expected. I'm right. On that note. Right? I assumed I was a mine, actually. Whoa, what? Mega Felix really loves those metals, don't he? <laughs> I don't think there's one stage I haven't seen him in yet. Yeah, I figured it was with mines. There's a military base stage after all, so. Buddy? Oh, yeah, that's right. Buddy? Open up. There we go. I swear to God, I'm getting so reckless with these jumps. And I shouldn't be. <laughs> hey, wasn't this song actually... Um... One of the trailer themes or whatever? Hmm. Didn't think it was actually one of the Robot Master stages, but... That is very interesting. Ooh. Holy crap. Good thing he had me placed in, in a position where I can fire at his head really easily. Is there supposed to be something over there, or is that just the way it's designed? Huh. Kind of questioning why those things have freaking ties in a military-related stage, but... But then again, it is Mega Man. It's a cartoony-themed world. I shouldn't be questioning such... bullshit like that. And of course... Jump cut. Okay. I am back. Oh, shoot, we have interesting themed sniper joes. Cool. Okay, I can sh shoot past the lightning bolts. That's good. I gotta admit, the Mega Fill X. When creating checkpoints, could you at least be a little more lenient with them? Maybe? That's just me, apparently, but... Gotta admit that... The checkpoints have been what's been pissing me off the most so far. That and hard difficulty, but of course that's to be expected. Like I did mention earlier. Pretty cool what he did to the shield enemy things from uh, Mega Man 5 and 6. And I think they were in 4? Yeah, I think they were in 4 as well. And yay for life energy I can't reach. Ooh. 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 Yes, go. Oh. oh, man. Ooh. Well, this looks very interesting. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, imagine what this game would be like without the sliding. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude, again? <sighs> Jump cut. By process of elimination, you can probably guess why I'm here. Let's actually do the smart thing and actually get some E-Tanks. <laughs> Yes. 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 Holy flood. Alright. Let's see. The only ones I haven't tried yet are Rainbow Man and Jetman. Let's go after Jetman, even though I can probably expect lots and lots of falling in this place. I'm sorry. It's my fault for failing at the same time. Ugh. This came out to be much harder than I expected. Let's just say that right now. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, but, ooh. Holy f God 
Can I get some breathing space? Thank you. Alright. How am I supposed to ignore? Ah! I swear to god, is it just me or do I just really don't have enough reaction time to get these guys fast enough? Pretty sure it's passable, but probably takes loads of loads upon loads of reaction time. And oh my god, two big life energies at once. Gimme. Now. Or this game should feel my wrath. Even though it probably won't, because I'm sucking at it so hard. Let's see if hopefully we can actually finish one Robot Master in this video. Good god. It'd suck if I had to go through two straight ones without getting any progress on. Okay, so it is possible to get defeat them in time without them actually running into you. That was just me being stupid. Okay, for some reason I thought there was going to be something to pop that would pop up from there, like that, for example. Oh. Uh. <sighs> Game, you're starting to really break me. <laughs> Wait, how come there are times when the suitcases fall off and their own aren't? Is it because of the way I'm shooting them? Huh. I'm gonna have to try to make. Oop! Oh. Oh. Kinda hard to get past those and these rockets at the same time. Yeah, I dropped it that time, but it didn't with other moments. That's weird. Yeah, what is up with that? Why does he do that? Go in here ignoring that. Alright, got lucky there. Hopefully we can keep that stride going throughout the rest of the stage. Oh! Alrighty. You can do it, Ken. You can do it. For all your loyal followers. I don't know. I just met the man the breathing space in this stage is very few and far in between. Kill him off right there. Uh, no life energy, sadly. Doing pretty okay in this stage so far. Oh, what is this? That's cool. Will I spawn another enemy like that? Freak, thank God. Oh, wow. That's cool. Kinda reminds me of the rolling barrel things from Mega Man Rocks, if anybody's actually played that fan game before. Because you moved on these barrel things, and the direction you went in, uh, depending on which way it would go, and you can kinda control it completely from there on, so... I don't know why, it just made me think of that for a second. Can I get some... No, I did not get any life energy. Darn it. Alrighty. Is there anything in there? No, there is not. I thought that was a secret corridor for whatever reason. But apparently you can break it. Hmm. We shall see about that, my good sirs. Can I get... Hmm, that was weird. Why did I do that? Game, I really need that life energy. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> You're too kind. You know what? Fuck it. E tank all the way, bitches. No, 
And I do kind of want those right there. There we go. That was very good for my soul. And I can see you only you can only carry up to four E tanks in this game. I don't know how I should feel about that, but <sighs> come on again, keep your good stride going. You can do it, son. Yay for more stuff I can't reach. Thank you, Megaville. This game knows how to be dickish. That's for sure. Game, can I get past that, please? I probably should have went there. Okay. Right, there we go. I'm kind of worried I might accidentally fall off the platform if I'm not careful. Come on. <sighs> See, when you're not reckless, you can actually accomplish shit. Oh wow, that is a really dickish spot for that. I don't care, I got E-Tanks. Which I'm going to be using right now. <sighs> Yay, I actually made it to a boss this time. Oh wow. This is kind of unique. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Oh wow. Whoa, 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 Oh Did not know what was going to happen there for a moment. Let's see how I do on the first life first, and if things get rough, I'm definitely going to use an E-Tank. Yeah, something tells me I shouldn't have tackled him first. Well, I wouldn't even say first, but... I uh, well, shut up, you know what I mean. Alrighty. Got lucky enough to jump over him that time. Alright, so you just gotta lead it to where I can shoot like that. Oh! Gotta really stay on your toes for this one. Holy crap. God dang it! Really? <sighs> See you guys in part three.